Kilabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and I'll be taking a look at the newest drop from Cappy Space, featuring some of my new favorite Glios toy, which I absolutely love, so let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the newest drop from Cappy Space here. We get a new Mischiever and new Brine Lords. I love the Mischievers, they're some of my favorite new characters. And these Brine Lords, man, they take Glyo's building to a whole new level, especially with these insane sculpts. These designs are all incredible. So I'm gonna start off with this little fella right here. Uh, this is Hob the Fibian, which is the newest Mischiever added to the ranks. I love this. A really nice bright green. They got the black in the eyes like that. The silver hand looks really cool. Um, this is not the same color as the very first Mischiever that we got way back. I'll bring that one in right here. Uh, you can see there are different greens. These guys had yellow eyes. These have white with a black like iris in there. And you see the, the, the skin for the original one is a little more darker. This is a much more saturated, vibrant green, you know what I mean? Um, so they are different, but this is still very cool. And you can see all the extra stuff that he comes with, as well as the extra belfry head, which I do love. And if you pick up the adventure kit, you got lots of great accessories there. So now we can see this guy completely loaded up, which looks great. I love the silver hand, but I also love the fact that, that one of the bracers that you get in the accessories pack uh, is also silver. You even got that little bracelet with the, the silver um, Krayboth there, a little charm. I think that's so cool. The necklace looks great. You got an orange loincloth piece to go right there. The sword, the backpack, I put the hammer back there. This just looks really, really cool. I love how this one turned out. Uh, now what I'm going to do, uh, so Cappy actually offered some extra accessories packs and some like blanks, you know, the unpainted ones. Uh, what I did, I ha saw that orange accessories kit and I put it on the little red Mischiever. Now this guy came out on the very first wave of Mischievers alongside with this guy, um, but he didn't necessarily have a specific uh, accessories kit to go with him. Uh, the original kit only came in this particular colors and you're supposed to share it amongst the different colors. I think it was the green one, the red one, and I believe the black one were the first three. Um, I, so I kind of just split the accessories kit among those three figures. Uh, and then I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna put all the regular accessories on the green one because I think it works best for him. And now all these orange Brian Lord accessories I think work great for this guy as well. So, you know, they have the orange, he has the orange markings on him and things like that. The necklace hangs really low. You know, you got the bracers. I turned that little fin thing into like a, a little knife. I got the other bracers over here. So I think these work very well. You know, uh, not all the Mischievers have coordinating colors, accessories packs. So doing stuff like this really works. So I love when Cappy comes up with extra stuff. And I love the fact that these things are compatible with each other. Again, the accessories between the Brian Lords and the Mischievers. Now moving on to this one here. This is Rampant Tibarb, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is one of the newest Brine Lords, and I love these colors, man. The colors are so great with that really nice, uh, almost like a dirty green. And then you got that more even darker green with a little bit of a highlighted green going through around. Little bits of yellow here and there. I love the off-white for the teeth. I think this is just such a cool design. That head is mind-blowingly good, dude. That is such a good head sculpt and it looks great in these colors uh, and again if you can see all the different accessories that he comes with especially if you pick up the uh, extra bonus kits with all the extra accessories i mean you have a ton of stuff for this guy and all those colors i love the extra heads like the shark head and that cthulhu like head thing that octopus head is just gnarly uh cappy even you're able to pick up even more accessories, another accessories kit, like more tentacles and hands and things like that if you were really want to do some crazy builds. So I think that's really cool, man. You just get a lot of stuff with this guy. And again, this is just a fun looking design. I even love like how the suction cups on the arms are painted, you know what I mean? Inside the hands are painted, uh, bottom of the feet are painted. It's just really cool to see. 
Now I went ahead and armored him up here with some of his accessories. So I put like the bracers on, I gave him some of his weapons like the sword, uh, I gave him the little trident weapon right here, he got the bracelet, I even put his belt on like that. I love that the belt actually has like a little fish line hook they can hang different things off of. I gave him the necklace, I think that looks red too. I went and put that little fin thing on the back like that. Uh, again, it's just so cool how you can armor these guys up and do all kinds of fun things with them, mixing and matching parts, doing your own builds. You know, again especially if you order those extra like tentacle accessories and things like that you could get some pretty wild things out of it uh, but what I also do like this actually matches the colorway of that original mischiever here same greens uh, same yellows things like that that's really cool so what I like about that is you know the mischiever has the two heads the the uh, the, the Fibian head, almost forgot that name, and the Belfry head, which is really cool. But since you have matching colorways now, and they have that kind of like forward facing pin, because they have that hunched over look, you can take like this Cthulhu head from this Brine Lord, pop that on like that, oh, I'll give that a nice little push, and now you have a whole new look for this Beshiever, which <laughs> is just crazy look I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one off because uh, what I've actually been doing I've been putting that hammerhead shark one on which I th actually think works really good for this body so you could do something like that I think that looks awesome man you could really change up the look of these guys you know again build up your ranks I believe Cappy is offering this Mischiever again. It's a re-release of that one, which is really cool because that one sold out pretty quickly. And now that you have the matching Brian Lord, again, mixing and matching the heads, you can really army build these guys and have something really fun and really special. Now this one is super cool as it utilizes a very popular colorway amongst Glios creators, creators and Glios fans with these oranges and like grays. You got a little bit of white there. I love the marking on the shoulder. That is perfect. Little touches of red in there. I love those deep black eyes on this particular head sculpt. Looks so awesome. What a great looking color. And there's so many uh, different Glyos toys out there utilizing these colors. I mean, so just to add these to the ranks of that colorway is pretty awesome. These are the, I, I'm totally pronouncing this word wrong. Is it the veiled? Or veiled or viled, I don't know. The veiled, mecha veiled mechanic or oceanic mechanics. That's I think that's what they're called. Um, these are kind of like your workhorses, you know, the construction guys of the Brine Lords and things like that. I think this is super cool. Such a wildly fun colorway. I love that bright orange, just pops, you know, especially when you have it in hand on the shelf, something like that. Um, it really, really stands out. And again, you can see all the accessories that he comes with, plus the bonus kits. And again, you can order more, again, tentacles and things like that if you really want to do some wild builds. But I absolutely love those extra head sculpts, the weapons, those little touches of red in there really, really help. I love that a lot. Um, I love especially the uh, shark head right here with the white on top. That really helps in the white teeth and the black eyes. And this one's good too because I love the like gray mustache kind of thing going over that with those big, just gnarly teeth, the black eyes. Great looking head sculpts. And now with this fella all geared up, I just think he looks so cool. I went and put that shark head in because I really do like the white on the top of that head. You know, I put the necklace on with that white manta ray on there, looks good. The belt, uh, the sword here with that little peaks of red coming through there, the bracers. Uh, I put the little axe type of manta ray axe weapon on the back like that. I do love the fact that the handles and the weapons themselves are like separate pieces so you can swap different weapons and things like that. I just think that is so unique. Uh, and then I took that like clawed tentacle hand and I stuck the trident weapon in there so you can make that thing look even more gnarly. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, these Brine Lords are just crazy figures. All the options, these incredible sculpts, especially if you pick up all the different accessories, kits and things like that, you can really go hard on these. This guy just turned out awesome. Again, a very fun colorway for a very fun toy. Now the last one of this bunch is going to be, I know I'm pronouncing this wrong, is the Veiled Osho. I think that's how that's supposed to be said. Oh God, I'm terrible at this. Uh, but this colorway is sick, dude. First of all, that translucent orange looks so cool. 
but I love like the little peaks of like a really uh, faint yellow for like the eyes and the teeth. Even a little bit on the top right there looks really good. Some on the legs like that. But then you got this really nice metallic, almost like rust color going on. Uh, no, I have the tiger, or excuse me, the hammerhead shark head on there like that. And that metallic trim all throughout, even like on the suction cups of the arms, inside the hands, the bottom of the feet, that metallic color really stands out. I want so many more Glyos toys in this color. I mean, he looks like, I don't know, he looks like liquid fire, if that makes sense. That's what this looks like to me. That is just such a ridiculously fun colorway. And again, you can see his accessories and the extra bonus kits and things like that, which look rad. I love the hints of silver and the things in the weapons. All of those look great. And I really, really love those bonus heads. So you got the more fish head uh, with the yellow teeth like that and the yellow eyes. If I can get my camera to actually focus, there we go. That looks really rad as well. Uh, and then the Cthulhu head right here is like the more default head uh, with that beak. And again, that beak is a separate piece. So you can pop that out if you want to. And the four yellow eyes just look so awesome. This is a great, great looking Glyos toy. Now having this guy fully loaded, I mean, it just feels like something special here. All those accessories, you got the silver necklace right there that again really pops. Same thing with the, the sword and the hilt, that silver and the red in there, the silver bracers. I wouldn't put it with that, that Manta Axe right inside that hand like that, which I think looks really good again in that metallic rust color. Just looks so awesome. I went and stuck the trident in the back like that. I usually just take a hand and then if I'm not using one of the extra hands and stick it back there and it kind of like holds weapon like, like a storage, which I really think looks really good. Again, that silver just stands out. Man, it looks really awesome. So this one just looks, again, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's working for me. It has like, again, like this liquid fire, almost like lava type of thing going on, which is really cool. So I'm all about that. And again, if you don't have any Brian Lords, all the different accessories that you do that you do get, I mean, you could do separate things. Like you can build these little dudes. You know, this is just that claw kind of thing right here on the hand, but they're actually like little tentacles. Um, you can stick one of those little eyeball things on there and have little minions running around and helping your brine lords and things like that, or, you know, doing your bidding. So it's stuff like that that I really, really love these these designs. They are very thought out, very fun. And again, in my opinion, just some of the best out there right now. So there it is, guys. My look at the newest drop from Cappy Space. First of all, give me any and every Meshiever you guys want to make in every color deco. I will buy them all. Again, these are some of my favorite Glyos toys. These little guys are rad, especially if you pick up their accessories packs. You can really beef them up. I also love the fact that the accessories for the Brine Lords fit on the Meshivers. I think it's really cool. You can utilize those parts for them. But the Brine Lords themselves, man, are just very impressive Glyos toys. Those sculpts are insane, especially with the heads. I love that Cthulhu head the fish head the shark head oh my god the different types of tentacle arms and attachments and all the accessories packs especially now that you can order even more tentacles and things like that so you can do just some crazy builds these are a lot of fun you really want to pick up some accessories kits so you can just again do anything your heart desires these are great little figures i will leave a link in the bio for cappy so you can pick up anything he has left in the store among other cool glios toys i think these are a lot of fun and you will love them for your glios collection so be excellent to each other and stay nerdy my friends peace